Odds are you may have been hearing something about Hurricanes or storms in general colliding it may have been some chatter on the internet or you heard it on TV and then you heard it's called the Fujiwara effect. I'm here to tell you a little bit about exactly what that is. It was an interaction first observed by Dr. Fujiwara, a Japanese meteorologist, and he was observing storms interacting with, with one another. Now, essentially, this happens with any type of storm, but we see it mostly with hurricanes or typhoons out in the Pacific or the Atlantic. And this is when storms of similar size, it depends, one could be weaker, one could be stronger, but they begin to orbit one another. That typically happens when they get within about a thousand miles of one another. If they are similar in strength, they'll find a central point and kind of orbit around another, do a little dance, if you will. If one is stronger than the other, it actually will absorb it and they will become one system. Very, very interesting. Now, the reason why it's making news now and it's coming up in your searches and you're wondering about it is because the possibility is there that it may be happening in the short term in the Pacific between two systems, Ileana, the eighth named storm, or excuse me, ninth named storm, and John, the 10th named storm in the Pacific Basin so far this year. You notice already here on satellite imagery that they are relatively close to one another. In fact, they're within 500 miles of one another. So they're already beginning to interact with one another. And as we go out in time, watch what happens here on the modeling. We're looking at the GFS or the American model. You can clearly point out where John and Ileana are. Watch as we go out a little bit farther into the future and notice that they begin pulling each other closer and then eventually they begin to orbit one another and then they absorb into one as they begin to fade off into cooler ocean waters off to the north and west. Again, this is just depicted on models, hasn't happened yet, and it's a very rare occurrence, although we've seen it happen numerous times in the past 10, 15 years. Most notably, or most recently, I should say, around this same time frame in the same part of the Pacific Ocean last year between Hurricane Hillary and Irwin. Then in 2016, there was concern that Hurricane Matthew was going to interact with Tropical Storm Nicole. That, of course, was on modeling and never actually occurred. And then in 2005, that very active year when we ran out of storm names and we had to resort to the Greek alphabet, Hurricane Wilma absorbed Tropical Storm alpha before those faded away as well. So that's the Fujiwara effect in a nutshell for you. If you have any other meteorological questions or any other phenomena you want to know about, find me on social media, meteorologist Tim Pandagis on Facebook, 13 Tim Pandagis on Twitter.